You're so smiley already, I love it. <laughs> Craig with a K Adams here from Wedding Film School and I've got my favorite monopod here. This is a, a monopod that locks. So you can stand it up like this and it kind of acts as a monopod and tripod. And especially with small cameras like the A7S or the A6500 with small lenses, you know, you can put it up there and it will stay. It won't fall over. I've never had this fall over. I tried an entire wedding just with this and no tripod, but I found that for the ceremony, I like to have a tripod. Um, but for 99% of the, or 90% of the day, you know, this is good. I still need to tripod a little bit, especially for like an outdoor ceremony on a hill with grass. It's kind of hard um, to use this on anything that isn't flat pavement. So I switch over at that time. And then of course, if I'm using a gimbal, you know, I'm doing that. But most of the stuff that I shoot for the day of the wedding is either handheld or with this monopod. I can do lockdown detail shots with this and its size and weight makes it very easy to get in and out. I'm not causing too much trouble because we all know how annoying it is to set up a tripod at bride prep, um, at the ceremony, at different places. So this helps make things quicker, easier, it's more minimal. This is the carbon fiber version. It's got three locking sections. I'm a tall guy, I'm 6'2", so this is, I think it goes up to like over my head. So this is a very tall monopod, excellent for everything I need. Um, every so often there will be times when I have to top stick it and it still holds, you know, I, I would leave a camera and just straight walk away and not worry about it falling over. Of course, if it's behind someone like at a reception during toasts, if you like dogs or cats, it doesn't matter. I'm going to tap on their shoulder and tell them that <laughs> this is, this is behind you. So just, just for a couple seconds, just yeah. Hey, there's this giant thing behind you. Don't destroy it. <laughs> at first coming from the Manfrotto, a monopod that everyone has been using for the last couple of years, I was a little worried about these locking um, twist locks here. But honestly, I think they're, they're better. Like I got used to them very quickly uh, compared to like the, I guess, strap locking of the, the other monopod for Manfrotto. Uh, the only thing I will say though, is that I completely wrecked my hand right here once because I was pushing it down in and I was holding this part and I completely just jammed my skin right in there and it left a huge mark. It was terrible. So just watch out for that. So it's very quick and easy to open and close these. Uh, the one thing that I do notice is that they're not completely flush when they're in this mode. I really wish these locked better. I hate the floppiness. Does yours do that? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I haven't tightened anything on these, so I'll double check that. It's important in the near future. So I kind of wish that this little play didn't happen but that's okay. Instead of using this section to lock and unlock this rotation part right here, I usually just keep that very tight and instead just use the, the tripod head uh, rotating section here. I'd say really the only bad thing about this monopod is how tall it is. You know, the minimum height of the monopod is pretty tall. Uh, it goes all the way up there and uh, for some shots, it's just too tall. So that's why I do this. For the wedding day, I used to carry probably two tripods and a monopod, but now I can get rid of a, an entire tripod and just have two pieces of gear. And that helps, you know, make me quicker, faster, everything's easier with this monopod. Get a shot of him standing on the chair. Love that. <laughs> so if you want to check it out, there is a link in the description. Uh, and if you buy on Amazon or B&H, I will get a commission because I'm an affiliate. So thank you very much. Um, but let me know if you have any questions. And of course you can see me in action with this if you watch any behind the scenes. Uh, so make sure to check those out if you want to see that. But until next time, thank you for watching. See you.